What up, fam? Welcome to my writer's life. This is Alicia, your writing midwife, and feeling fresh. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling renewed. I'm feeling restored. I'm feeling clear. What a difference a day makes. I think. You know, on this journey of mine, a day in the writer's life, because that's really what we're doing, right? A day in the writer's life and all my crazy and insanity. I'm feeling fresh today. You know, I, I recognize that I've had more bad days than I'd like to admit. Today's a good day. And I feel like when we have those days that are good days, we should savor it, relish in it, enjoy it. Try our hardest not to allow for people to ruin it. Keep doing things to feed it. Like I know that today I want to eat something amazing. I want to put I want to have the most delicious lunch, the most beautiful meal where I'm savoring every moment of it. I'm not rushing the meal because I have to get to, I just finished teaching. I'm done. I'm done for the day and I'm so excited about that. I'm done for the day and I can start my weekend and I want to set an intention to have the weekend that fills me and feeds me and restores me. And so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat something amazing. I'm going to read something amazing. I'm going to write something that I pray is amazing, but whatever, yo. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I have today. You know, I feel really good. And I want to celebrate that. And I want to share that with you. Because, you know... Not every day is going to be a good day. Not every not every day is going to be a day where we feel 100% on point or, you know, on our A game. Today, I'm coming off of having an amazing event last night. I was on a beautiful panel at Twitter headquarters. I wasn't really allowed to promote it or post before the event, but I can share um, how it went. It was incredible. And the conversations that took place after were incredible, were affirming, were reaffirming about the work that I do and the effect that it has on others and why I can't stop, why I shouldn't stop, why even in the moments where I'm feeling insecure or filled with self-doubt or feeling uncertain or worrying about money that I have to continue to do this work because it's ancestral work that's what I'm meditating on my work is ancestral work it is a gift that I have been called to connect to and honor that's what writing is for me that's what storytelling is for me breathe let's do some writing prompts some writing meditations breathe today I am feeling today I will gift myself today I will remember that I was born to I was called to, I'm chosen to. Ancestral work to me means how I honor my ancestors is what I intend to create today, tomorrow, this weekend is and my intention for today is my intention for today is to send out 
queries for my seven book Orisha book story. Today's the first day that I actually say it out loud in this public way because I've been very private about it. But today, I hit send and I send my stories to an agent. I wish that for me and I wish that for you, boo. <laughs> Have an amazing day and a beautiful weekend. Peace.